Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming fight tomorrow night, Vasily Lomachenko versus Jose Petraza, okay? Vasily Lomachenko versus Jose Petraza. And, yo, this is going to be a really good fight. The funny thing about this fight is this fight has literally been overwhelmed by the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight. There's been so much hype around that Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight that it seems like everybody has completely forgotten about this Lomachenko Pedraza fight. You know what I mean? It's like, no, nobody even knows what's going on. Even when I was telling people about this fight, they're like, oh, yeah, that fight is tomorrow, huh? And I'm like, yeah, that fight is tomorrow, but you really don't see any kind of hype or media about it. But this is going to be a really good fight, and it's really going to be a very good day display of boxing a lot of people are counting Pedraza out and that is for good reason why they would be counting him out because you got to do like Vasily Lomachenko the dude is super sick with man very technical very high volume of punches excellent footwork knows how to create those angles to be able to capitalize and get you up out of there but counting a guy like Jose Pedraza out would be logical but at the same time, you still can't be able to count a guy like that out just because the dude is a very good boxer. He has very good footwork, very good head movement. He has really good combinations, man. He puts really good combinations together. But the only thing that I really don't like about Pedraza is that he really loves to use that high guard, especially when you're applying pressure to him. He really doesn't use his footwork enough. He has really good footwork when he does use it. But to me, he really doesn't use it enough if he used more of his footwork because like I said he has really good footwork when he actually displays it but that's only on the rare occasion that he actually displays his footwork and hopefully he would be able to use the good footwork that he has to be able to negate Lomachenko's footwork because when you actually watch the Lomachenko Linares fight Linares used his footwork being able to pivot off to be able to negate Lomachenko's angles that he was creating. So hopefully Pedraza would be able to use his footwork to kind of offset Lomachenko's footwork. But like I said, I think the main problem in this fight is Pedraza relying too much on the high guard when Lomachenko is using a lot of volume of punches on him. And he doesn't want to get stuck in a particular spot trying to be stuck in the high guard because that's Lomachenko's bread and butter. If you'll sit there in front of him in the high guard, dude, he will eat your ass up, dude. He'll friggin' pick apart your high guard. He'll create angles to be able to pick you off from the side, being able to create openings. And to me, I think this is going to be a very tailor-made fight boxing-wise for Lomachenko. But the one thing that I do know about Pedraza is that the dude can friggin' take a hit, man. I mean, that dude can take a friggin' brick to the face, man. If you saw his last fight, not his last fight, because his last fight was with Ray Beltran, but if you saw the fight before that with Javante Davis, dude, Javante Davis was hitting his ass with stuff that would have knocked out anybody else that Javante Davis fought, and the dude was getting friggin' hit with some heat. I was surprised how much he was able to stay in the fire with Javante Davis, be able to take those punches. He fought a really stupid fight. If he would have used his footwork a lot more, he would have came off a lot better. I was actually surprised he was able to stay in the fire with Javante Davis like that and take them damn shots. So taking shots like that from Javante Davis, dude, these shots from Lomachenko shouldn't feel too bad. But I think what's going to be the problem is going to be the volume of punches that Lomachenko is going to be putting on Pedraza. So if he's able to keep up or negate Lomachenko's output, I think he might do very well in this fight. I think he might surprise some people in this fight. But I either see Lomachenko getting a late stoppage or winning a decision on Pedraza because the dude is super hard to stop, man. I mean, out of all of his fights, he's 25-1, and one, and he's only lost to Javante Davis. Javante Davis ended up knocking his ass out. But, dude... 
who doesn't Javante Davis knock out? Usually when you get in that ring with Javante Davis, dude, that dude got some friggin' spectacular power at 130. So he'd be knocking them little fools out at that weight class. But with Jose Pedraza and Lomachenko both moving up from 130 to the 135 pound division, you can't really say that either one of them have the size advantage. I know Jose Pedraza is actually taller and has the reach advantage on Lomachenko. I know Lomachenko, he's five foot seven and he has a 65 and a half inch reach and you have a guy like Jose Pedraza who's 5'8 and has a 71 inch reach so he does have the reach advantage on Lomachenko but I still see Lomachenko either getting a late stoppage or beating him by decision because Jose Pedraza he's not an easy dude to finish so it's going to be really interesting to see if Lomachenko would be able to stop him but like I said if this goes to a decision it really will not surprise me just because Lomachenko doesn't have that friggin one punch knockout type of power he usually stops people by giving them an onslaught of punches in the Jorge Linares fight he actually stopped him with a body shot so I mean he could end up stopping Jose Pedraza with a body shot but I really don't even see that even when Jose Pedraza fought friggin' Javante Davis, dude, Javante Davis was hitting him with friggin' cylinder blocks to the body. And you could tell that it hurt, homie. You could tell the homie was friggin' hurt. But the homie would dig deep, and he was still friggin' coming back with some fire, man. So this is going to be a really entertaining fight. But if I have to pick, I actually have Lomachenko by decision. If he gets a late stoppage, it won't surprise me. But I actually have him winning this fight by decision, all right? So if you guys have any comments, any kind of predictions on this fight... Dude, go ahead, hit me up in the comments section, and we could debate on the damn thing, all right? So, I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments on this fight, make sure to hit me up in the comments section, and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, okay? So, I hope you guys like the video. Holla at your boy.